And hi, I'm Barbara, the co-CEO of 100% Renewables, a consultancy specializing in the development of climate action strategies. In my last video, I talked about what science-based targets are. In today's video, I'll discuss approaches organizations can take for setting targets in line with science. There are three science-based target setting approaches. The first is the sector-based or convergence approach. In this approach, the global carbon budget is divided by sector and then emission reductions are allocated to individual companies based on its sector's budget. The second is the absolute-based contraction approach, which is the percent reduction in absolute emissions required by a given scenario. It is applied to all companies equally. The third is the economic-based, which is also a contraction approach. A carbon budget is equated to the global gross domestic product, and a company's share of emissions is determined by its gross profit, since the sum of all companies' growth, gross profits worldwide equate to global GDP. The SPTI recommends that you screen available methods and choose the method and target that best drives emission reductions to demonstrate sector leadership. You should not default to the target that is easiest to meet, but should use the most ambitious decarbonization scenarios and methods that lead to the earliest reductions and the least cumulative emissions. A science-based target should cover a minimum of 5 years and a maximum of 15 years from the date you publicly announce your target. Companies are also encouraged to develop long-term targets, say for instance after 2050. It is recommended that you express targets in both intensity and absolute terms to track both real reductions in emissions and efficiency performance. I hope you enjoyed this video. In my next video, I'll talk about the criteria for SBTs. Thanks for watching.